In Episode 3 of IE, we reviewed an advanced copy of Wing Commander Armada. As fate would have it, Origin decided to push their summer schedule back to the fall, and Armada's release was held for a couple of months. As you might imagine, the game's designers were not idle during that time, so we at IE feel we were beholden to take another look at the final release version of the game. Armada is a good preview of the flight engine that will be featured in Wing Commander 3. Armada is a very simple game that includes three very distinct gameplay options. Gauntlet mode, in which you basically just fly till you die, campaign mode consisting of a series of missions with an ultimate goal, and Armada mode, with a simple strategy element for players who are sick of pure action. The strategy game really isn't strong enough to stand on its own, but then again, it doesn't have to. Some of the new features included in Armada are the visual representation of shield hits, a toggle key to turn off the cockpit graphics, and modem or network play. As you might expect, Armada's graphics have been beefed up since Wing 2, and enemy pilot artificial intelligence has been substantially enhanced. Instead of simply flying straight towards you blazing away, they'll use every trick in the book to get you before you can get them. Of all the added features, head-to-head -head play is Armada's strongest selling point. If you're pining for a good multiplayer action game, look no further. From a pure action standpoint, Armada is a very good game, and head-to-head -head play is something Wing Commander fans have been clamoring for since the beginning. As a single-player game, Armada probably isn't as good as Wing 3 will be, but if you have access to a modem or network, it's a must-have.